Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 25H2 on unsupported hardware. If your computer is already running an unsupported version of Windows 11 or Windows 10 on hardware that is not compatible with version 25H2, you can use third-party tools such as Rufus to create a custom USB bootable media to bypass the most common problematic requirements, including TPN 2.0, minimum amount of memory, internet, and a Microsoft account. However, the processor will still need the POP CMT instruction, otherwise the operating system won't boot. This requirement only affects a small group of devices with processors released before 2007. It is important to note that Microsoft does not support this method and your computer will remain in an unsupported state. This means that you may continue to receive updates, but they're not guaranteed to work and you do not get technical support from Microsoft. Also, remember that a clean installation process erases everything on your computer and installs a fresh copy of the operating system. It is important to create a full backup of your computer before proceeding. Before proceeding, you will have to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2. Check the link in the description to find the link on more details on all the different ways that you can use to download the image on your computer. Technically, you have different ways to download the image for version 25H2. If you plan to install the operating system before version 25H2 is officially available, you'll have to use the latest preview available. Now, if you're installing the operating system once version 25H2 has been released to the public, then you can download the image from the officially Microsoft support website. To download the official image when version 25H2 is officially available, you can go directly to the Microsoft download page that you can use with this link. And then when you scroll down, just select the Windows 11 option under download Windows 11 disk image for X64 devices, and then just click the confirm button. Then select the installation language, click confirm, and just download the ISO file to your computer. To download the latest preview of the ISO file, for version 25H2 before the new version becomes available, then you will have to go to the Windows Insider Preview Downloads page. Then you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account. And then at the bottom of the page under Select Edition, you will need to select the latest available ISO file for Windows 11 from the Release Preview channel, which in this case is Build 26200. Select the installation language and click the download button and save it to your computer. Now, to create the USB bootable media, we need to download the Rufus tool. And for that, you need to go to this website, scroll down to the download section and download the latest version available and save it to your computer. Now, once you have the image on your computer, just open File Explorer on the location where you save that file. And then we need to run the Rufus tool. However, first you need to connect a USB flash drive of at least 8 to 16 gigabytes to your computer, which we're going to use to create the bootable media. Now, this process will erase everything on that drive. So if you have anything important, make sure to back it up before proceeding. Now I'm just going to double click the Rufus tool to launch it. Now we're going to click the select button. And now we're going to select the ISO file for Windows 11 version 25H2 that we downloaded to the computer. Now here you can use all the default settings. You can change the label if you want, but make sure that all the settings are the same as you see it on the screen. Now just click the start button. Now in here, that's where the magic happens to create the custom bootable media that will bypass the requirements to install version 25H2. So first you want to check the remove requirements for RAM, secure boot and TPN 2.0. Then if you want to use a local account instead of a Microsoft account, and you also want to bypass the internal requirements, check this option. Now this is optional, but you can check the create a local account option. And this allows you to automate the process of creating the account. Here, you need to specify the name of the account. Just remember that when selecting this option, the local account will not have a password. So make sure that after the installation, you set a password for the account. Now, 
You can also check this option to disable BitLocker from turning on automatically during the installation. Usually it is recommended to use BitLocker because you want to have encryption for better security on your computer, even more when you won't be using TPM 2.0. However, if you have a dual boot system or for some reason you don't want to use that, you can check this option to disable it during setup. Now with all those options checked, just click the OK button, then confirm that all the data on the USB flash drive is going to be raised. And now the Rufus tool is going to proceed to create the Vurubo Media for Windows 11 version 25H2 for unsupported hardware. Now, once you have the installation media created, you have to make sure that your computer can boot from the USB drive. Usually during startup, you will see an option to boot into the UEFI firmware or to access the boot menu. If you have access to the boot menu, you can choose the USB option to start the computer and that will launch the Windows setup. Otherwise, you will have to enter into the UEFI framework to change the boot order so your computer can start from the USB. However, since most devices have different UEFI designs, you have to check your manufacturer support website for more details on how to do this. Now, after Rufus completed creating the USB bootable media, you just need to close the application and then disconnect the USB from the computer and connect it to the device that you want to install the operating system. And then start the computer from USB and then the setup will launch automatically. Now, the uh, clean installation process on unsupported hardware, once we created the custom bootable media, will be exactly the same as when doing a clean installation on supported hardware. Okay, on the first page, make sure that the language settings are correct and then click next. Do the same for the keyboard settings and click next. Now in here, we're going to select the install Windows 11 option and make sure to check this option to confirm that everything on your computer will be deleted when going through this process, then click next. Now, if you had a previous installation of Windows, such as Windows 11 or Windows 10, and they were properly activated, then the computer will reactivate automatically after the installation when the computer connects to the internet. Now, if this is a new installation, you have to provide a product key. You can always do that later. So on this step, click on, I don't have a product key option to continue. Now, select the edition of Windows 11 that the product key activates and make sure they select the correct one. Otherwise, if the product key doesn't match, then you will have to go through the installation process one more time and then click next. We're going to accept the terms. And here you can see that we have only one hard drive with different partitions. And in here, we're going to delete all the partitions from the main drive. Now, here's the thing. If you have multiple hard drives which have data on it, you don't need to erase those partitions. You only need to erase the partitions where you're going to be installing the operating system. Once you selected the drive that you want to install the operating system, click next. And don't worry trying to recreate any of the partitions because the setup is going to create the necessary partitions automatically. And now click the install button. Now this process is going to take some time and the computer will restart a few times. Now to complete the installation, we need to proceed with the out of box experience. So first select your region and click yes. Then select the keyboard layout and click yes. Now, if you have to add a second keyboard layout, you can do it here. Otherwise click skip. Now, since now select your privacy settings, if you don't agree with any of the privacy settings, you can turn them off right here and then click the Asset button. And that's it. We just completed the clean installation process on unsupported hardware for version 25H2. You can always check by opening the Start menu and look for the Run command and then type the Win ver command, click OK, and in here we can confirm that we're running version 25H2. Now it is important that after the installation, you open the settings app and then make sure to go to Windows Update and check and download all the updates available. Also, you want to go to the advanced options page and from here we can go to the optionals updates page and from here we can download all the available 
drivers. You might also want to go to the device manager and confirm that all the components on your computer are running correctly. So what you see right now on the screen means that all the components are correctly installed on the device and they're functioning. Now, if there are any issues, you might see a yellow exclamation mark or a red mark. Also remember that at this time, you can also restore your files to the computer. And that is all there is to it. Remember to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.